Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking you inside one of the most extravagant events of the year, the wedding of Anant Ambani, heir to Asia's richest man. From opulent decorations to star-studded guest lists, this wedding has set new benchmarks for luxury and grandeur. Let's dive into the details and get a glimpse of this extraordinary celebration. Anant Ambani, the youngest son of Mukesh Ambani, the chairman of Reliance Industries, recently tied the knot in a wedding that has captivated the attention of people around the world. The Ambani family is known for their immense wealth and influence, and this wedding was a testament to their status as one of the world's wealthiest families. The festivities took place at the family's residence, Antilia, a 27-story skyscraper in Mumbai. Antilia is not just a home, it's a symbol of opulence and architectural brilliance. The wedding transformed this already magnificent space into a fairy tale setting with elaborate floral arrangements, crystal chandeliers, and luxurious fabrics. Guests at the wedding included a mix of Bollywood celebrities, global business moguls, political leaders, and even international dignitaries. The who's who of the elite were in attendance, making it one of the most high-profile gatherings of the year. The guest list read like a roster of the most influential people on the planet. The decorations were nothing short of breathtaking. Every detail was meticulously planned to create an ambience of unmatched luxury. From grand floral arches to intricate light displays, the aesthetic was a blend of traditional Indian culture and modern sophistication. The colors, patterns, and designs were all curated to reflect the grandeur of the occasion. One of the highlights of the wedding was the performances by international music icons, including Beyonce. Her electrifying performance added a global flair to the event, making it even more unforgettable. Alongside her, there were performances by top Bollywood stars who added a touch of Indian glamour to the festivities. The cuisine was another aspect that left guests in awe. The Ambanese flew in renowned chefs from around the world to curate a menu that featured an array of international and traditional Indian dishes. From gourmet delicacies to mouth-watering desserts, every meal was a culinary masterpiece. The wedding attire of the bride and groom was a topic of much discussion. Anant Ambani looked regal in his traditional attire, while the bride, Radhika Merchant, was a vision in her exquisitely designed bridal wear. Their outfits were crafted by some of the most renowned designers, incorporating elements of Indian heritage and contemporary fashion. The rituals and ceremonies were steeped in Indian tradition, reflecting the rich cultural heritage of the Ambani family. From the pre-wedding functions to the main wedding ceremony, each event was marked by elaborate customs and heartfelt moments. The inclusion of traditional music, dance, and rituals added depth and meaning to the celebrations. While the wedding was a personal celebration for the Ambani family, it also drew attention to the broader issues of wealth and inequality in India. The sheer scale of the event, with its lavish spending, highlighted the stark contrast between the country's richest and poorest. This disparity is a topic of ongoing debate and discussion, especially in the context of such high-profile events. Supporters of the Ambani family argue that their wealth is a result of hard work and entrepreneurial success. They highlight the significant contributions of Reliance Industries to the Indian economy, including job creation and philanthropic efforts. The Ambanis are known for their charitable work, including initiatives in education, healthcare, and rural development. From this perspective, the wedding is seen as a personal celebration that should not be politicized. However, it is also crucial to acknowledge that the wealth amassed by industrial magnates like the Ambanis often comes with questions about corporate practices, market monopolies, and the ethical implications of such vast fortunes. The celebration of wealth, while a personal right, cannot be entirely divorced from the social responsibilities that come with such economic power. The media coverage of the wedding has been extensive, with many outlets focusing on the glamour and celebrity presence. This has sparked a debate about the role of media in perpetuating the obsession with wealth and luxury. While it is natural to be fascinated by such events, it is also important to use these moments to reflect on broader societal issues. The mega wedding has also prompted discussions about the cultural aspects of such celebrations. In Indian society, weddings are traditionally grand affairs, symbolizing familial pride and social status. The Ambani wedding, while extreme in its extravagance, reflects a broader cultural trend where families often go to great lengths to celebrate such milestones. This cultural context is important to understand, even as we critique the economic implications. It's essential to remember that weddings in India are more than just a union of two individuals. They are social events that signify the joining of two families, and often 
two communities. The scale and grandeur of these events are seen as a reflection of social standing and familial pride. However, when the scale reaches the heights seen in the Ambani wedding, it becomes a reflection of the vast economic disparities that exist in society. The impact of such a lavish display of wealth goes beyond immediate economic discussions. It has social and psychological implications as well. For many in India, such displays can reinforce feelings of inadequacy and hopelessness. When the gap between the wealthy and the poor is so vividly displayed, it can lead to a sense of disillusionment and resentment among those who struggle to meet their basic needs. In conclusion, the wedding of Anand Ambani has given us a glimpse into the world of unimaginable luxury and wealth. While it was a celebration of love and union, it also serves as a stark reminder of the deep-seated inequalities that exist within Indian society. This event has sparked important conversations about wealth distribution, social responsibility, and the role of media in shaping public perception. So, what are your thoughts on this grand celebration? Do you see it as a rightful display of personal wealth? Or does it underscore the need for greater social and economic equity? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful discussions on the biggest stories around the world. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the complexities of our world with us. Bye.